Hey, what is up you lovely people? Today, I'm excited to share with you this newly launched mobile app by Interactive Brokers themselves, which they call it Impact. And boy, must I say, this is one very minimalistic and beautiful app that blows my expectation. For those of you who are already existing clients of Interactive Brokers, this app is essentially the simplified version of the previous IBKR mobile app, but with a little twist. They are focusing on the theme of sustainable investing, which emphasizes on the environmental, social, and governance (ESG). If you have no idea what that means, we'll get there in a bit. But in a nutshell, it is just like any other stock brokerage app that allows you to buy and sell stocks and ETFs only at the moment. But I expect them to roll off more features in the coming days, so definitely stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. If you already have an IBKR account, then feel free to download this app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. If you don't have an account with IBKR yet, then check out this video. It's an all-in-one guide for any beginners to start trading with interactive brokers within a day or two. So when you fire up the app, you'll be prompted to log into your account and for your first time, click the log in button and it will jump over to this page. So key in your IBKR account credentials just like you would on your web portal and mobile app and then click log in. Welcome to Impact, click get started. Then it will ask you to choose which values are most important to you. I won't waste your time with this since everyone have their own preferences. So choose whichever matters to you, then click next. It will then ask you which business practices do you want flag, i.e. choose whichever that you don't really like. For example, animal testing, business ethics, controversies, etc. Then click next and you will reach this disclosure page. Feel free to read it, then click accept and you are all set. When you land on this main page, it will welcome you with a quick tour. But let's skip that because because I'm going to give you the full tour in this video. Let's start off with the home tab. Pretty much everything in this app is pretty self-explanatory, but since this is probably the first time you see this on the internet, you are welcome. I will go through them tab by tab, but of course, feel free to skip according to the timestamps down below. In this page, you are presented with the overall view of your portfolio. At the very top, you will see this little button, click into it, and you should be able to see your entire brokerage account, total value, invested amount, your cash, your buying power, deposit and withdraw button. You should know what they do. What's more interesting here is the settings tab. So click into it and this place allows you to customize your account settings, user settings and etc which is super helpful. For example, under account settings, if you click into it, you can change your dividend election, which is how you want your dividends, either in the form of cash or reinvestment, up to you. Next, stock yield enhancement program. If you want to loan your stocks for some additional income, then obviously you can go for it. But usually the reward is very negligible. So I personally don't really use it uh, because there are some drawbacks to it. And from what I've read online, it's really not worth the hassle. So feel free to ignore it. You can always read it up on the IBKR's website if you are interested. And one more thing we have here is the IBKR pricing plan. As you all know, I will always recommend you the tiered pricing plan just because it is much cheaper for most of the normal or casual investors out there that don't really trade that much. So definitely go for the tier pricing plan. I've explained it before in my previous video, so feel free to go and check it out. Anyways, for now, let's jump out of the account settings. Now we go to user settings. Pretty much the same stuff you can find on the other brokerage app, but what I want to highlight here is the market data subscriptions. So click into it, and if you want to subscribe to any real-time market data, then click on the icon at the top right corner. So for your information, anything shown on Interactive Brokers app, for example, the market data or the share price are all delayed by at least 10 to 15 minutes. So by default, you won't have the live share price data. So if you want live share price data, then obviously you need to pay to subscribe to the live market data. So moving out, we have display. This is where you can configure your apps team. There is light and dark team. So for those of you that prefer dark team, you can obviously go for it. I personally prefer the light team just because it looks better and it looks more minimalistic to me. And then at the bottom, we have this post order screen where it will just pop out a small little box right after you place your order. It's not a game changer, but definitely a nice touch for you to see what you have submitted in case you submit wrongly, right? Before I move on from here, you can also go into this localization tab and this is where you can change your base currency. If you trade 
mostly in the US market, then I would highly recommend you to pick US dollar as your base currency, which is the currency that you will use to pay for the $2 currency conversion fee. That's about it for the setting. Let's move out and go back into the home tab. In the middle, you will get to see your portfolio return for the year and the impact score, which is essentially how much does your portfolio conforms to the ESG rating, which again, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. Feel free to explore it yourself. Beneath it, you have all the essential buttons. For example, the first one, transactions. This is where you're able to see your orders and trades for the past seven days. I don't have any because I've just started using this app. So going back, we have double it and withdraw so this will link you to the IBKR website for you to put money in or take money out of your brokerage account pretty self-explanatory and next we have the account button you can see the snapshot of your entire portfolio you have net liquidation value which is the total value of your portfolio cash settled cash MTD interest which is month to date interest this is usually for margin account and since I'm on a cash account so there will be zero from MTD interest the rest is pretty self-explanatory it's the same thing that you would see on the original IBKR mobile app so moving out the last button here is the support button there's a list of common FAQs here but if you would like to speak to their customer support then click the contact us button at the top right corner and then it will link you back to the IBKR portal which you can then send a message to the customer customer support to get any of your questions answered. Anyways, moving downwards, we have top holdings, which is basically the stocks that you have in your portfolio. I'm really digging the look of this. It does resemble Webull or Robinhood a lot. Just clean and minimalistic and overall just feels nicer to look at. You can of course click into each individual company to look at its details, but I will cover that under the explore session. So let's skip it for now. Further downwards, we have world indices. Just a quick little snapshot of how the S&P 5 500 index, NASDAQ composite index is doing and also if you scroll to the right here, there's more market that you can look at. So just a little bit of update not really helpful to be honest but better have than none right under that we have this refer a friend to get $30 program I don't think this thing still works whenever I click it it will ask me to switch to the IB Kara mobile app to use this feature so I don't know let me know if it works for you guys okay further down we have watch list pretty self-explanatory I will cover later then some more news of the stocks that I hold just some tiny updates on the most recent earning calls not Nothing much here values you support again esg stuff feel free to explore it yourself and then at the very bottom we have news what's happening in the market what's happening with the stock in your portfolio it's pretty much the same with the original app so that's about it for this tab Now, let us look at the portfolio tab. Again, very minimalistic, just a graph showing you your portfolio return for up to one year. And you can also drag your finger over the graph to see your portfolio return over the time. So pretty neat asset allocation. I only trade stocks, so you can only see equity and cash here. You can press on the equity and cash bar and it will show you the amount and their percentages which is pretty helpful if you want to just quickly know how much cash that you have in your portfolio okay moving downwards you can expect to see your holdings which is essentially all of the stocks and etfs in your portfolio they don't really have much details over here only the total value of the shares you own and the number of shares that you own for each particular position as well as the change percentage for the particular trading day or the past trading day depending on when you view it and then at the very bottom you be able to see your cash in your base currency and in my case it's set to US dollar and that is all for this tab okay so watch this tab I'm sure all of you are probably experts by now so I won't spend too much time here by default you will be presented with a bunch of random stocks so feel free to remove or rearrange them by clicking on this pencil button on the top right hand corner so you can just click minus to delete it or rearrange by dragging the right button over here so feel free to do whatever you want with this I really like this show though it feels so satisfying i've never seen this before on the other app so let's scroll down to the very bottom where you can add stocks into your watch list so click into this button then obviously you need to add the ticker symbol of the stock so let's say i want to add microsoft let's say msft and then let's look for the microsoft stock and then just click into it and there you go microsoft is now added into my watch list so feel free to explore it yourself this is pretty much the standard for all the brokerage app out there Yo! 
The next step we have here is the explore tab. At the top search bar, you can search for stocks that you want. So let's say again, we are searching for Microsoft MSFT. Now this, this look is essentially a direct replica of Robin Hood, which I must say it's, it looks really neat and clean. But of course, if you are an active trader, then you are better off with technical charts like TradingView. This is more for casual investors that don't really rely on chart that much. Nothing wrong, it's all up to your own personal preference. Anyways, same thing here, the chart is interactive, so you can also drag along the line to see its daily share price. At the bottom, we have impact values alignment, Again, ESG stuff will skip it. Moving down, we have market data. You can see the lows and highs of the share price today and 52 weeks, as well as its trading volume and some data in the form of market cap, EPS earnings per share, P ratio, dividend, etc. Pretty standard stuff. And moving downwards, we have company profile, analyst ratings, news. Again, all the stuff that you must have seen before in almost every other brokerage app. The last thing on today's video is probably the most interesting and the most important part of the brokerage app, which is the trade button. Click into it and you will be presented with this pop-up page where you have this buy order, sell order and swap order. So buy and sell order, pretty much I've covered it before in detail in my previous video and swap order, I will cover it in a moment. So for the benefit of the first time viewer, I will just briefly go through the buy and sell order for you. So let's say I want to buy Microsoft again. So click into buy order and let's search for Microsoft and this is the buy order screen obviously because you want to buy Microsoft stock. So on the top left hand corner you have the share price of Microsoft and currently it is trading at $337.43. So you see there is a tiny little eye in circle there. Click into it. This is the snapshot feature where you can pay one US cent to see the live share price data. It's handy if you don't have the live market data subscription and also for information, all of the interactive brokers have $1 of free snapshot data quota for each month. So theoretically, you have 300 snapshots for each month. So feel free to use this just before you submit your buy or sell order. It's pretty helpful and I use it a lot. So when you want to use the snapshot feature, just click the refresh button and then you will see that the number refreshes and it shows you the live share price data. On the top right hand corner, that is your available settled cash for you to trade in the particular currency and in this case, it's US dollar and then now I want to buy Microsoft at a limit order so there is three order types here we have limit order market order and stock order limit order is where you can buy the stock at a price for example X or better it won't match any price higher than what you set market order is where you set to buy the stock right here right now regardless of what is share price right now. So for example, if I want to own one Microsoft stock right now, you can just click into this market order, then it will help you to match to the closest trading price for you. So usually when you use market order, you will get your stock almost instantaneously during the market hours. And the last order type we have here is the stop order. It's actually a sort of a combination of the limit and market order whereby if you set to buy Microsoft at a stop price and when the share price hits the stop price, it will help you to submit a market data to buy the stock at whichever price the stock is currently trading at, aka the next available trading price. It's a little bit confusing, no worries, because this is usually used by most active traders. If you are just a normal long-term investor, just like me, then just go ahead with the limit or market order. I personally prefer the limit buy order just because I want to be able to control the share price at which my share is being matched at. So let's just leave it at limit buy order for now. So limit price, pretty simple again. If I want to buy Microsoft at 335 US dollars, so just type in. So this is if you want to buy Microsoft at 335 and then shares, this is the number of shares that you want to buy. So if I want to buy one share, then type in one. But if you want to buy fractional shares, then you can also type in any amount of fractional shares that you want. For example, if you want to buy half a share of Microsoft, then just type in 0.5. Or you want to buy lesser than that, you can also type in 0.05 or whichever number that you want and you can preview the estimated amount. Let's say for this case, it's 20 US dollars. And when you're ready, just click done. And then the next thing we have here is time in force. So for time in force, we have day and good till cancel. Day essentially means that your order will expire by the end of the trading day so like right now i'm filming this video on a friday night in malaysia and that is a morning 
opening hours for the US market. So if I submit my order with day, my order will expire by the end of the trading day if the order does not go through. And then for good deal cancel, this order allows you to keep your order active for up to 90 days or until you cancel it. So if you just want to set the buy price and forget about it, then obviously go for the good till cancel order. I personally still prefer day just because stocks are usually more volatile in nature and things can happen overnight and who knows the share price can crash or whatever right so i don't mind setting up the order again in the next trading day and at the very bottom you have extended hours this is where you can submit your order outside of the regular trading hours so for info regular trading hours for the us is essentially their business hours which is 9 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern time so feel free to convert it according to your local time zone Outside regular trading hours essentially refers to the 4 or 5 hours before the market opens at 9.30 a.m as well as after the market closes at 4 p.m. Anyways, I hope that clarifies. When you're done, just click done and then you can preview your order. So double check everything. It's a good practice to just double check before you submit your buy order. And when you're done, just click your buy order. That is all you have to do to buy your stocks. As for sell order, it's pretty much the same thing but the exact opposite of buy order. I've covered it in detail in my previous IBKRA mobile tutorial so feel free to check it out. Now at the very bottom, you see this swap order. This is a new and unique feature by this app that allows you to basically sell your position of an existing stock that you have for another stock that you prefer for example if i want to swap away my square stock i'll just go for square for tesla if i choose to tsla choose tesla and as you can see i can do that and by clicking into preview you can see that the commission is 70 US cents, which is essentially 35 cents times two for the tier pricing plan because you are essentially selling and buying it at the same time. I know this doesn't seem like anything impressive at all, but this helps if you are on a cash account where you just want to quickly swap your position from let's say existing stock A to another stock B very quickly without having to wait for this cash settlement period of t plus two days after you sell your stocks so really really neat feature not everyone will be able to benefit from it but of course it's nice to have anyways that is all about the impact app for now it's definitely a simplified version of the original ib Kiara mobile app but i think there is still a lot of people that much prefers a cleaner and much slicker mobile app because hey if you are an active stock trader whom requires more tools and charts then might as well go for the more full-fledged ibkr desktop platform trading view or the tws software right just a disclaimer this video is not sponsored by ibkr but i do have an affiliate link down below whereby i will get a tiny advertisement fee if you just click into it so if you don't mind that will be very very helpful for the channel even though you already have an account i will really appreciate that so let me know what you think about this app do you like its looks or features i'm definitely looking forward to reading your comments down below and just one last thing before we end this this impact app is still very new into the market so expect a few more rounds of updates and troubleshooting and etc but i'm confident ibkr will be able to pull this off for all of us all right that is all for today's video thank you very much for watching stay safe stay invested and as usual i will see you in the next one